Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part three of my Chromaverb mini tutorial series. In the last two videos, we checked out the reverb types, the visualizer, the damping EQ, and the controls within the main view of Chromaverb. In this video, we'll check out the advanced controls in the details view of Chromaverb. So the first thing you'll notice is this output EQ. The output EQ is just a standard six band EQ, similar to Logic's stock channel EQ. You have two bands, two shelves, and two filters, which can be turned on or off up here. You can even turn on or off the entire EQ here. So keep in mind that this EQ only affects the wet signal, it does not affect the dry signal. For the bands and shelves, you have a frequency, gain, and Q control. And for the filters, you have a cutoff frequency, slope, and resonance control. Down here, there's three quality settings. Low will result in noisy, grainy reverb. High quality is a clean and precise reverb, and ultra will be the smoothest and cleanest sounding of the three. Chromaverb also has a built-in LFO that can modulate the pitch of the wet signal. You can choose one of three shapes, sine wave, random, and noise. The mod depth controls the depth of the LFO, how much of the effect you're actually hearing, and the speed controls the rate or speed of the LFO. The smoothing slider also affects the shape of the LFO waveform by smoothing out the random shape, but it actually saturates the sine and noise shapes. However, the resulting sound is overall just more smooth sounding. The early late slider is a blend between the early and late reflections. This is dependent upon the distance knob from the main window. The width slider allows you to add stereo width to the wet signal or even reduce the stereo width. And the mono maker sets a filter for where stereo material is removed. So for example, if I put this at 300 hertz, this means that all material in the reverb below 300 hertz will be mono, and above 300 will be stereo. 
This is typically used to keep bass frequencies in mono so that they're more focused sounding even when reverb is applied. So those are all of the advanced controls in the details view in Chromaverb. In the next video, I'll use Chromaverb on some practical musical examples. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.